high on the mask. Play the drums. James Madden, I play bass. Christopher Warner, I play guitar. I might catch a body, I sing. I'm Sean Donald, I play the guitar. Alright, um, and uh, this is End of Eternity, and um, we're going to start this off. Now on Facebook, you guys have this teaser thing going for uh, for Forever Ends Tomorrow. Right. Um, what is that song about, and are we expecting any more teasers soon? Um, well, we released another teaser last night. It was uh, guitars, it was uh, Chris doing rhythm guitar. And uh, Forever Ends Tomorrow, um, how that came about was Sean, uh, me and Sean, you know, we sent songs back to each other. And uh, he gave me just like a real raw demo, and I listened to it, and I, you know, I thought it was really cool. And I, I just, you know, it gave me like a, gave me a vibe. And I just thought, like, you know, if the world was end tomorrow, what, what would you want to do? You know? Yeah. What kind of things you would want to, you know, not look back to like, oh shit, I didn't do that, you know. And um, the song is being released tonight at midnight. Yeah. Awesome. Tonight, I just May finished mixing it right now. Twenty seventh at midnight. That's awesome, dude. Um, now this eight song demo I heard is going to be in June, uh, do you have a name for it and if you do, why did you choose it? Well the title track is going to be released tonight, it's Forever and Tomorrow, the album is also named that. Because after we came up with the, that one song, we kind of realized that the songs we've been writing for years since we all been in seventh grade, they all kind of, you know, based around that. And we were all, for months we've been coming up with this, nah it's no good, but this all kind of ties everything together. So uh, the title track is Forever and Tomorrow. And then, Album's gonna be forever and tomorrow. Alright. Um, who did you. Uh, by the way, this this was actually really cool. Who did your EOE um, photo design for uh, Facebook? Oh, Phil, that was me. That's good. Yo, that was great, man. <laughs> you, know, you know what I did? I went on Google. I went on Google with my creativity, no different thinking. I thought, what really represented EOE? You know? Skulls. Skulls. It's a lot of symbolism. Skulls. Yeah. Logo. It's controversial. But we didn't want to be too controversial with the symbolism, so we had to like tone down the symbolism so it wasn't that controversial. So it wasn't controversial. Exactly. But it was symbolic, you know, because we had the two Lots of symbolism. You know, they're opposites. One's yeah. backwards and one's forwards. <laughs> you know. It symbolizes, it symbolizes the end of life. We'd a, like a lot of thought into that. A lot of thought. We like to leave the interpretation up to the listener of our symbolism. There you go. The album cover is going to be different than that, though. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm going to miss that. Chris is our computer genius. Yeah, he's going to do that tonight. Do you have an idea of uh, what it's going to be like? Um, a lot of symbolism. <laughs> <laughs> but at this, uh, Copycat. At this moment, uh, we're still in the creative process of uh, designing. Alright. Check out this all main art. Um, now that, um, now, what's like the new EOE compared to the old EOE? Because I know you guys have been around for a while. Yeah. Um, and it, like, I've not... Has there been a lineup change? I really can't speak because I'm I'm the newest guy to this band. I'm a baby still. So I, there has been a huge lineup change. Yeah. From when we first started, we were um, say more more thrash metallic worship. Then we went into uh, kind of straight vengeful worship, which we <laughs> had to stop away from. For too many people saying that. <laughs> and now this new album is has a lot of different metal influences. Yeah. And. When we write more songs, like the newer songs that we're gonna come out with, probably the next demo, are gonna be a lot of John Mayer. <laughs> no, a lot of different Kesha. like, like James want to explain the God, newer God. metal of our influences. Basically, when we weren't playing, we were all branching out and discovering all different genres of metal, and uh, we all gained different influences. And when we got back together, now we have so many different sources of and influences coming together. It's making yeah. interesting music. It's really weird how it all comes together. Yeah, you know? like um. Probably the next song released is um, doesn't have a name yet, but there's a lot of different influences from um, metalcore, and then we got a lot. Of, actually, on the whole demo, we got a lot of doom influences in some songs. Doom metal, a lot of influences in that. It's gonna be new. It's not a lot of people kind different. of threw us into like a metal metalcore genre. It's gonna be. Yeah, we got a lot of you different know, things coming. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be good. Um, who are your musical influences overall? Oh, oh that that great great that's. I know one by one. Who's your musical influence, Phil? God. Alright, no, no, seriously. Uh, I have to say that uh, my lead, my priority in metal influence is the next sample. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. They're fucking good. Come on, man. And then, uh. The new second. single's bad. The new single oh, sucks. I, thank you. Thank you. Let's establish that. I love the new single. Uh, it like I, and I love the rev, but it sucks that he can yeah, die. I know, I know. What about you, James? What do you listen to? 
Uh, my biggest influences are probably um, Blind Guardian, uh, Diabolical Masquerade. I've heard of that one. I've heard of that band. Uh, yeah. Catatonia, Anathema, and stuff like that. More Doom Metal than uh, what we play. Um, I'm into a lot of Doom. A few of the bands he listed. Uh, at the moment, one of my biggest influences is uh, Equilibrium. Uh, oh, okay. A Viking metal band, a drum Viking metal band, which probably no one said I all knows of. That's okay. Um, I would have like to say a lot of my influences. I like a lot more um, like progressive music or just rock music. I like um, one of my favorite bands, probably Fourth Country. One of my biggest like creative influences. I also like um, Opeth and Catatonia has to be like my favorite. Band Opeth is consistent. I like them a lot. Yeah. yeah. I listen to a little bit of everything. You guys, they go through my part and they laugh at me. I like John Mayer a lot. <laughs> I don't know everything. John Mayer, it's, uh, you know, both my Valentine. So when we all come together, it's. I didn't like the new album from Bullet. Bullet? Uh, yeah. Way too poppy, way too poppy. Yeah. It's too boring, way, way too poppy. It's the same it's too too thing with Sasha. I like the And a lot of people aspect. dick wrote on it, too. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of whispering ass. But it's weird. Like when we all come together, you wouldn't think what, you know, what gets recorded track by track is coming from us, being what we listen to, you know? But yeah. We all seem to like it. <laughs> right. Um, do you have any shows coming up? Because I know you, you're in the process of the demo. Like, are you waiting until you release um, it? We're waiting. Not necessarily. Really handicapped. So. Yeah, yeah so James is in a sling for six weeks. So, so about six weeks. Let's see, James. Get some kicking ass. He's not pussy like crazy, though. <laughs> 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 Symp <laughs> sympathy <laughs> pussy. <laughs> His sling is off uh, July 1st. So any promoters, any bookers, support bookers, any day. Awesome. Play your birthday party, your wedding, <laughs> your sweet 16, communion, we'll play your barbecue, we'll Bar play your graduation party, we'll do anything. We're there for you. You know, I got my business clothes on right now. I'm gonna make some negotiations. It's a situation. Alright, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he sums it all up. Um. Uh, just to wrap this all up, uh, what are some of the other songs about on the demo? Uh, any like uh, sneak peeks of like what I, we can expect? Um, um, I don't want to do too much away, but let's go. All right, a lot of moaning. And this, this MCR. one song straight up about sex and a, and, a, and a bitch cheating on you. So that's that's always cool. But I, you know, not if it happens to you. Songs about bitches make money. That's that's the. What is that? Is that the approach? I don't know. But it, well, it's, uh, it goes in the line. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a comeback of a famous instrumental. Oh, uh, yeah. You gotta change the name, though. Yeah. Yeah, nobody knows All what we're talking All DOE fans definitely know what we're talking about. Yeah. Just can't release the demo because it's gonna be crushing this time. But, um, but yeah. Phil writes most of the lyrics, except the new songs. Mikey wrote two of the lyrics for the two new songs. And Phil wrote the lyrics for the older songs, and so did I for one song. But yeah. they're about, um, As the Day is about war, BD Murder is about murder. <laughs> it's, more, it's, more, it's a little more top. It's a little yeah, more top than that. You can't. Yes. I mean, when it's the, we'll have another interview explaining everything later on. And then the but, song uh, "Bite the Bullet" is about a schizophrenic person who like thinks he's like afraid of a killer, but the killer is himself in the end. And yeah, that's it. How about Mount Everest? That's the girl. Scene. Well, Mount Everest oh, yeah, is what it's currently called. We have to change the name. Mount Everest was thought of by him. It's a really stupid name. Instead of Mount Everest, it's Mount Avarice. I did write the song. <laughs> I did too. Well, Avarice, the word Avarice is green. So, it's a mountain. Uh, also, green. it just symbolizes the cheating. We're a band green full of symbolism and controversy. 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 <laughs> Alright, uh, that pretty much wraps it up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yep. 2.30. Look for